Hey guys, this is Jahaina and I am here for a wrap up uh, of all the books that I've read in the month of February. I read 14 books and um, I was currently reading two, I was currently reading a fifth, the 15th book when the month ended. So I'm going to do like a really quick, um, uh, brief, like dis not discussion, but basically how I felt about the book and the rating and that's it because there are a lot of books and I don't want to waste time. First book is Cycles by Lori de Brown. Uh, I got this for review and this is sort of like fantasy, sci-fi, um, and it talks, it's like sort of a, a mystery novel and I enjoy mystery, mystery novels, so this was a really good book and I gave it four stars. Next book is The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. This book is amazing. I loved it so much. Um, this was my first Greek mythology book, so I was, um, so I didn't really know what I was, like supposed to expect or like you know what I what would come out of the book or whatever but I loved it and um that was a really good book seriously you guys should all read it uh next book that I read is Golden Blood by Melissa Pearl this is the new enhanced um book cover um um Melissa Pearl um wanted to redo all the covers because the books were coming out in paperback and I adore this cover it's really good it's really nice and um, the book is just amazing this is book number one in the uh, time spirit trilogy and I loved it so much and I gave this five stars oh yeah and I also gave the goddess test five stars and this um, and I also got the second and third book uh, pure blood and black blood for review so expect those to be on my March wrap-up or my March TBR next book that I read is Starters by Lisa Price. This is a dystopian novel and it is about basically um, um, this world where where instead of like human trafficking or whatever people would basically um, get kidnapped or like they voluntarily apply to let their bodies be rented by richer people and then at the end of the rent period or whatever they would get money for it and <clears throat> um, basically this book was good I did not like the cover that much, but I did enjoy the idea behind it, even though I felt that um, I wanted more out of the book. I don't know. I just did not like it as much as I wished I would with such a really good and unique idea. But it was good. I gave it three stars. Next book is Pretty Crooked by Elisa Ludwig. I'm really sorry. I used like I kept on calling her name Eliza instead of Elisa, but I heard on someone's video that it's actually spelled Elisa, so I'm sorry. And this is um, a Robin Hood sort of retelling, modern retelling of some sort. And I thought I was going to love this book, but I did not. Um, my my problem was the idea and the logic behind the girl, you know taking from the rich and giving to the poor and the logic behind it was really annoying and she would buy, steal from the poor or the rich and basically go buy designer clothes to give to the poor people just to you know um equalize the social status of them which was annoying and it, it was hard for me to get you know to ignore this part and enjoy the book so it kind of affected my enjoyment of the book and i gave it three stars Three stars is good. It means I liked it because I did like it. And this is part of a trilogy, so that's interesting. I cannot wait to read the second one. Next book that I read is Chil um, Oppression, which is book number one of the Children of the Gods um, trilogy by Jessica Thernan. And I'm part of the blog tour for this one, and I was so excited for this because this would have been my second Greek mythology book that I have read, or that I have read, and I did not... In love it but I did like it and um it was good like especially the end I really liked the end and I wanted to know what would happen next and I gave this one three stars next book is a book that I actually listened to an audiobook and then towards the end because of how excited I was to find out what would happen in the end I just went and started reading the ebook and it is The Pledge by Kimberly Durting and seriously I I'm really annoyed at myself for taking this long to read this book because this book is amazing. I gave it five stars and even though it's labeled as a dystopian, I felt it was more, um, it was more historical fantasy, like, you know, like Ray Carson's The Girl of Fire and Thorns and I adore the cover. It is like so pretty 
and the story itself is amazing and again I'm like I don't know what took me so long to read this book and I really want to go pick up her body finder series after reading this one and I can't wait for the second one and I gave it five stars obviously so next book that I read is Wanderlove by Kristen Hubbard and this book is a contemporary and I am so glad that I picked it up because it is amazing. I gave this five stars and basically it's about traveling and I'm a huge fan of traveling and reading anything about traveling so this was fantastic for me. And also I really loved how Kristen Hubbard actually did her research regarding the country that the protagonist actually went to and that was a really good thing and I enjoyed it. Next book is... The Chosen Ones by Tiffany Trout. I'm sorry if I misspelled, pronounced your last name. And this is book number one, The Lost Souls um, trilogy, I think. The old trilogy, so I'm 90% sure it's a trilogy. And this is a dystopian. The thing is that this was supposed to be published on April 10th. One of the publicists told me that it is actually coming out in June. So yeah, an extra two months. And um, I am part of the blog tour for this one, so that is pretty exciting. And this was a really good dystopian. This sort of reminded me with, of Delirium because most of the time dystopians don't have a huge romance line, like romance like part in the book. It wasn't like a major part, but for Delirium it kind of was. Um, the same thing for The Chosen Ones and that was really interesting. So guys, seriously check this book out because I love the cover. And I love the synopsis and I really like the book and I gave it four stars. Next book that I read is Life is But a Dream by Brian James. Um, this book talks about a schizophrenic patient who is actually in a wellness center and basically you get to see the world through her eyes and just to to not like confuse your people schizophrenia is not the same as split personality. Split personality is when you have two personalities and schizophrenia is when you see the world differently basically and it was pretty interesting to see how um, how schizophrenic people see the world and how they you know think of the world and think of other people and stuff and I really enjoyed it and I gave it three stars. Whew, a lot of books I know. Uh, next book that I read is Legend by Mary Lou and this is another dystopian and this is the UK cover if you guys were wondering and I love this cover more than the other one and I really did enjoy this book and I actually read it in one day and it, it's from two POVs, Day, who's are the male protagonist and June, the female protagonist and what I really liked about it is that like here you get to see like Day and then when you go to June it's like a different font and like a different style and that was pretty interesting and um, I really liked this book my only problem was with June she kind of annoyed me at the end and and I just do not like her till now even after I finished the book I just don't like her which is very rare when it comes to protagonists and dystopians for me but I really do not like her at all next book that I read is The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder gorgeous cover and uh, this um, this talks about a cancer patient and basically her giving up that she would ever get cured but her mom and her sister never losing hope and actually taking her and moving her to a place called the promised land where miracles happen and what I really really liked about this book is that it wasn't just sad it was like the protagonist she like her being her having cancer did not like hinder her from doing whatever she wanted to do and half of the things she, that she did I would never have the guts to do so um, it was pretty good the ending was sad it was good I gave this four and a half stars and I think I said I gave legend four stars I don't remember but I gave it four stars last book that I read is the probability well see I confuse them the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Tiny, tiny book. Uh, had way high expectations for this one, but um, it was good. It just, it did not meet my expectations. Love the cover. But um, it's set in a 24-hour period, which is always a good thing for me because I love books set in 24-hour periods. But I just, um, so basically the... The protagonist Hadley and Oliver meet in an airport, but what I did not enjoy in this book was that there was barely any Oliver time. Like, and a lot of the book was like just dedicated to her and her issues with her family, specifically her dad. 
So I just wish there was more like time with her or Oliver or basically just any other thing. It was mostly her dad's issues were like dominant in this book and I did not enjoy that that much. But I gave it four stars. So the last book that I am still reading but I started in February is Two Truths and a Lie, uh, book number three in the Lion Game series by Sarah Shepard. Uh, I really like this cover. I really like the, the series. My only problem is that when I read the second book, the Lion Game series did not, like the show did not air. But this when I, when I started reading this one, it obviously did air and I just do not like the show. And um, it kind of rubbed off on the book. So I'm not enjoying it as much as I hoped I would or as I enjoyed the first and second book. Hopefully, I will enjoy it. Okay, sorry guys, but I had to go for lunch, so I'm going to continue the wrap-up. There's just one more book that I read, and um, it is Goddess Interrupted by Amy Carter. I was really excited for this book um, after I read Goddess, Interrupt uh, Goddess Test, which I loved. But um, let's just say that it was not what I was expecting at all, and not in a really good way. I hope that I would like it, like, as much as Goddess Interrupted, but I just did not like it that much. But I gave it a three stars, so it was good. Those are all the books, and um, that's it. Uh, if you guys want me to review any of those or have any comments or want to link me to your wrap-ups, please do. I would love to see them. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.